Urban Dictionary defines adulting as to carry out one or more of the duties and responsibilities expected of fully developed individuals, as in paying off credit card debt, settling beef without blasting social media, etc. Exclusively used is by those who adult less than 50% of the time. But what does adulting actually look like? I decided to browse the internet myself and find out. Social media basically looks like making a post and saying something along the lines of, I've literally been eat living on crackers and coffee for the past week, hashtag adulting. This type of post and many, 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 many others are made every single day using the word hashtag adulting. So what is really adulting and what's the idea behind using this in social media? So posts like this. I paid a bill for the first time today by myself, hashtag adulting. Adulting is basically when you are doing something that you expected adults to do and you're actually doing it yourself. But this is just my opinion. Let's see what other social media users think. One thing I really wanted to ask the people that I talked to was the idea of memes and how did they play a part in social media and the idea of adulting. Hashtag adulting is a very normie meme, of which we did approve <laughs> heartily. I don't know, adulting is kind of this invention of millennials trying to describe their, uh, trying to describe what their childhood conception of what a, an adult is, and then trying to apply it to their own lives. So you have the, so you have people's like, hashtag adulting, I'm paying my taxes, like, no, that's just life. <laughs> like, it's not, it's not adulting, that's just what you do. When you're going through that stage, it's very easy to resonate with other people's experiences and go, oh yeah, I, I went through something like that. That's really funny that you would bring that up. I think it's an expression of insecurity that a lot of uh, young adults face uh, heading into adulthood. Like, for example, one meme is like, I don't know how to do my taxes. I don't know how to um, like apply for a mortgage or anything like that, but I do know the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Like, it's kind of an expression of frustration with the way our society exists and what we learn is, as kids growing up, but it's also, like, drawing attention to the fact that we are insecure about this step that we're taking in our lives. We don't know everything that will happen going forward, and we're scared. We're, frankly, very scared of what could occur, um, and we're letting that emotion out through a channel, in this case, being humor. We used to, it's bad. Like, memes used to be more easily defined. It was originally just, like, cute little pictures with puns, and now it's just so lost in irony and meta that we don't know why we're laughing, but it, it just happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I really have any favorite memes. Um, I don't know. They shift so frequently. I think that's one of the things that defines what you could call meme culture is, like, the, the daily shift of um, what is considered funny or what's like, uh, what's an old meme. Um, I don't know, it's really hard to have a favorite when the entire premise of a meme is it's fresh and it's funny and it's nuanced and you haven't seen it before. So like, once you've seen it, you move on and it doesn't necessarily stick with you. Throughout all my searching through all of the memes and adulting things I found online, one thing I noticed was this continual trend, trend of apathy towards actually being able to do anything. Sometimes it was just apathy, sometimes a lot of the memes were actually pretty downright depressing, and there wasn't a lot of hope for the future, and this lingering question of whether or not they would ever actually be able to become real adults. I, I thought this was an interesting trend, and I wanted to ask people more about this. <laughs> what do you think about like like existential memes and stuff like that? The ones that are like incredibly depressing and that, that's where I live. <laughs> I, I read an article recently. I think it was the Washington Post where they're talking about like why are suicide memes funny and trending now? <laughs> <laughs> but I think I, I think that we as a cult like culturally as a whole, we've just gotten more and more. Uh, absurdist in, in our sense of humor where we've got uh, there's millennials have just lost any sense of hope so the only their only solution besides like killing themselves is just making memes and laughing at it 
laugh at uh, laughing at their own pain. <laughs> what do you feel like, like, wh- like, why do you think like millennials feel like they don't have a sense of hope? Oof. <laughs> yeah, I think we we to to quote uh, one Doctor B vocation, like we we find very little. It's. It's hard to find a, it's hard to find a sense of purpose when you don't uh, when you don't believe in anything like there's it, it, since millennials have adopted an existential uh, existentialist philosophy there's nothing really driving them they just kind of have to accept the monotony of life and i think while like christians or people with a religious belief system don't that don't fall uh, don't fall into that despair as easily i think it as a culture it's affected us as a whole where we we get so lost in adulting and, and trying to do regular uh just trying to go through life and not really question it because when we question it most millennials with existentialist, existentialist philosophy will come up with nothing 